Blind is here behind us. He put a very nice shot on a warthog sow, and uh, we've just got out the blind, so we're going to go and have a look and see what is happening here. I think I've just spotted the arrow, which is a good sign. So let's go and see what's happening. You can pick up the arrow. we like to see on an arrow, red fletches. <laughs> Simon, smell the, smell the arrow. Does it smell bad? Or does it smell like blood? Blood. Doesn't have a smell of guts. No, a clean arrow that. A bit, of, a bit of blood there. It's great. So now we're just going to wait for the dog Mauser and show us where the pig is but I don't think the pig will be too far arrow looks good um, just gonna look on the arrow for for bubbles don't really see any bubbles but let's see what uh, let's see what the Mauser dog does when he arrives the famous Mauser. so uh, Simon has been shooting the 200 grain evolution. These are the old tough head broadheads, the ones before the option of bleeders. A fantastic broadhead. Looks like it did his work. Got a complete pass through. Very lucky to not hit the second warthog, but uh, that's the way hunting goes. And uh, yeah, we'll just wait for the dog and then we'll go and do a little bit of follow up. <music> Thank you. 
Well done on your first one. Well done, pal. Proud of you. Fantastic. Do you want to tell us a little bit more? Yeah, so uh, I think I hit it from this side. It's come through that way with, from the arrow. Yeah, we didn't track it too far, did we? Yeah, about 100 yards max. Um, and then it finally lay in the dirt here where it just collapsed. And I'm more than happy with my first kill. Well done. Not and then after your first week with a bow, pal. <laughs> well done, mate. And then someone else helped you to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone decided to uh, have a little snack on it before we uh, could find it. Uh, that side's covered up, it's a bit nasty. <laughs> Must have been under 10 minutes. Must have been, yeah. That's leopard or hyena. And uh, I decided to drag it a bit as well. Yeah. Well done, Sai. Well done, pal. I'm very happy with it. First blood. Well, with a bow. <laughs> and while Simon was here, I showed him a little bit around the bow and he decided it's something that he would like to try. So we went down to the local bow shop, which is Tarba Burg and Hengel, and uh, we looked at secondhand bows for him and he got a bow. This was probably on Thursday last week, today is Sunday. And uh, the shop owner, Chris Valkemut, was very gracious enough to say to Simon, take the bow, try it out. If you like it, you can buy it. So Simon's been playing around with it for a few days and I was been helping him a bit with his form and his technique and everything. And uh, I said to him, why don't we go and put something into practice and see if we can get something on the ground. Now by me, warthogs are plentiful. Um, they come in close, although they're very sensitive to wind. And I said to him, today's the day that we must go and try and get this. And we came out here at about nine o'clock this morning. Come out, sir. On the back. And uh, we sat in the blind for probably about 30 minutes from 9 o'clock and Mauser came along and um, not Mauser, four warthogs came in and I said to Simon just take your time he must make sure that there are no other warthogs behind but uh, I think the moment gets a bit big sometimes for people and they kind of get focused on their target and uh, we had a very narrow escape with a pass through but you'll see the video on that anyway there were no other warthogs harmed in this making of this video uh, he was using an axis arrow which is what he got from the local shop here and I, I gave him a 200 grain single bevel evolution broadhead from Toughhead Broadheads and um, he was able to make a very good shot on the animal Animals run probably about 60 yards. The shot was a little bit high, but high lungs, which is good. And uh, as I say, you know, sometimes the moment can be a little bit big, especially for new guys. And it's a new guy that is still working on his form, technique, follow through. You know, this archery is such a big thing to it. And I think we've got another convert to the archery. So folks, please, if you like my videos, remember to like and subscribe down below. I'm sorry this uh, video is a little bit of a jumbled mess but uh, that's just how how it happens sometimes and you just got to go with the flow. So thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.